Hello, good day, all my dear friends. I'm Oliver. So here we have five different color JDM196 rescue truck, tooling truck. So this one, the blue and white color, is original factory one. And we get this another four different painting color, white, green. And here we have the cabin red and the body white. And here yellow. Here this one, cabin white and red and the body red. So, uh, as we said here, this letters is a sticker decal, but others it's all painting. This black also painting. So, uh, only the letters are stickers. So let's start it and try to work in it and tooling a truck. Let's see. So first, it is uh, equipped with Paladin light radio. Radio now it's already on. Let's put the battery. 3S XT60. So here. Have a hook, unlock it, then open the side door, put the battery. Yeah, the door is with the hook already off. Here only connected the light wires. So you see the hook on top and the downside big hook. Hook it up, then can secure it. Okay, already hook up and push, lock it, secured. Let's start it. So the warning light and this one, top light already on. The sun start off, hear the sound. And the front light. Okay, it's all on and also here, here, and the top and the side have light all this warning light. So left side also have, turn it around, have a look. All this light showing. And here only rear side light, turn it around, the rear side light. So turning it, turning left, signal light, turning right, and uh, put low gear, drive forward. That's a reverse light. Second time we will start driving reverse, forward, braking light. And switch off this light and uh, switch it on and change the mode. Have many different mode. Okay, let's keep it flashing here. Here that's the winch. Release it and combine together with the engine sound. Take it back. So let's rise this plate and let's maybe we try tooling this tractor truck. Let's say it's got problem, cannot run it. Res rescue this one. Okay, line it up. So let's see. So first, it's all at the mix control. Rise it. After rise, you will see rear side here standing leg. It is putting on the table, so this one will not lean forward or backward. So standing legs. And after, now it's already on top. So before we move in this one, so if you lift up the rear side, this uh, hook for hooking the tires. If not in good position, we will be touching. So not down, not top. Put a little bit downside in the middle and then rise. It will not stand in the way. So now slide into rear side. In position, already touching the table, have this two roller. Okay, so if we want to tool in the truck or the rescued car to the plate, this one, the winch release it, and uh, the rescued car must be in neutral position. If the 
if the drive wheels are engaged, you cannot turn it freely. So now it's at neutral position, and uh, let's release this hook. And hook up on the bump, front bumper. Put at the middle position, so when driver pulling it, it's going straight, not drive off the plate. Okay, start tooling. Grab. So after the car is already on the plate, first slide into the front. And then drop it. After drop, secure all the four tires with this the belt. So this one can tight like a real one. Let's secure the tires. This one can hook up from here. Hook it up and then turn it tight. Okay, it's already very tight, secured and also this one we will try from this side. Easier operation from the front. Hook up. Round the tires and this side also can hook up from this. Making tight, it's turning. It is with spring self-lock. Okay, so it's already tight. So these two for another two two wheels, leave it and uh, okay, so let's drive a little bit see, it's already secured it's not dropping right, you will see it's already secured put it down and uh, let's go now at low speed gear, this one has three speed and uh, axle differential lock also have another transfer case lock. So this car can shift into rear driver and the four driver. Okay, let's tool in another one to see. So rear side this tail bar can also tool in one more truck or car. Put the tires secure on the bar. So if you want to tool in it, the axle need to be at the neutral position. Like this, four and four and four driver. So if you engage the gear, you can drive it. But if you engage, you cannot turn the wheel free. So how to set up neutral position? The gear is not engaged. Then when you drive, it's not turning, and the wheels can turn it free. Or another way, for another type of car, like a rear driver, only rear side axle have gears. Front side no have gear. So front side always can turn it freely, you can turn in the rear side tires. So let's first try this one. And put now neutral position, can turn it freely. So this tail first reaching out, also hydraulic. Put down a little bit. And you see this one is with a screw. You can turn it and unlock it, take it out the bar and drive it to meet the tires. Take it out. And uh, yeah, let's see. For example, it's here. Uh, you drive the car, align it, then put it down. Almost meet the ground. Okay, align, continue drive, not touching the chassis. Okay, already reached the tire, and uh, then we put this inside. Secure it. Find the hole, position, lock it. Okay, so secured and also left side secured, the tires fixed, and then rise it. Okay, this is enough, then we can go in. Okay, 
let's drive back. We will try to tooling another one by tooling rear side tires. Okay, let's tooling this rear driver. So front wheel always free containing. Align it. So now it's number three hole. Okay, after secure, rise it. Well, let's go bring it to fixing. Okay, thank you. That's our customized JDM196 rescue tooling truck with special painting. So five different color. And uh, for what you like, your suggestions, also we can try to paint in different color and also can paint in, uh, different marks on it. Thank you, see you.